good morning all today we have to continue with our fast decoupled load flow analysis that is the last portion of our third module so last class we have discussed on how we modified our newton raphson load flow analysis in a to a decoupled load flow method that is started from the newton raphson load flow method that is delta p is equal to j1 delta delta plus j2 into delta v this was my equation and we know that p is a function of what voltage and admittance but this admittance y i n and theta i n this is a constant always for a transmission line so that this polar form i have written in my trigonometric form and i i have represented it as g i n and b i n that is first term is g i n uh, conductance and second term is b i n that is the susceptance okay and already we know we while modeling we are using uh, we are representing the transmission line with the uh, uh, reactance only okay so g i n value will be very low as no value for resistance is considered b i g i n value will be very low or in other words i can say my value of susceptance b i n value will be much larger larger than g i n value and also i have assumed one more assumption that is delta n minus delta i voltage angles are somewhat equal or the difference will be less than 10 degree so i can replace cos delta n minus delta i c cos delta n delta n minus delta i that is cos or i can take it as one and sin of that is approximately zero okay so i have assumed these two assumptions next what we have to do we have to reduce this okay from this p calculated equation we can find out that it is a function of voltage and admittance but admittance is a constant so it is a function of voltage in voltage there are two parameters voltage magnitude and voltage angle so we have to study the change of power mismatch or the power mismatch with reference to the change of voltage parameters voltage angle and voltage magnitude so first i have taken my j1 matrix in the j1 matrix i have to find out dou pi by dou delta i diagonal element i have written the equation then i have employed sin a plus b equation inside it and i have given the assumptions that we are seeing here so while giving the assumptions we know that here see while giving this gin is much uh, a small value and sin is also zero value so this term i can neglect and i have taken my equation like this okay similarly there is a non zero value and similarly though pi by though delta and also i have employed sin a plus b equation and that is also non zero element so j1 has a value similarly i am going to find out j2 then what happens with j2 that is though pi by though v while i am solving this this is cos a plus b form isn't it cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b i substituted in the equations and i this g value is approximately equal to zero or very value so this is neglected this is neglected and gi value is neglected so the value will be very small or zero similarly non diagonal value is also zero which means that my j2 matrix is a very low value or a zero value so what i did was i have uh, reduced this equation this j1 is a non zero element but this will be a very small element or a zero element so i modified my equation as delta b is equal to j1 delta delta similarly th from this i can understand understand that my real power changes are very sensitive to change of the voltage angle than voltage magnitude or it is sensitive to change in voltage angle only okay next i have to study what will happen with my reactive power mismatch so i have written the equation and we also know this reactive power is also dependent on the voltage parameters that is voltage magnitude and angle so what i have done is i have found out dou qi by dou delta i and that this equation i have got and i have employed sin a plus b in the equation and finally i got a this uh, equation okay in that gin and sin value is zero so this is a very negligible this has a very negligible value or approximately equal to zero same goes with the do qi by do delta and also which means that this j3 element can be considered as a zero value so j3 element can be considered as a zero value when then i found out what happens when the voltage magnitude changes what happens for the reactive power so i have employed the same equation 
sin a plus b equation I have used and I have simplified it and I got a non-zero value. This is a non-zero value. Same goes with the dou qi by dou vn. Which means that j4 has a non-zero value where j3 is a zero value or low value. So I can write my delta q is equal to j4 delta delta. So this is the decoupled load flow analysis. Okay. So next we have to study the fast decoupled load flow analysis that is in order to reduce the computations we have again reduced my equation. So how can we again reduce my equation? So I have to first I am taking my delta p okay while considering delta p we have to find out for all buses we have to find delta p okay so we have to find out the real power mismatch for all buses except my slack bus that should be remembered okay so delta p i have to go into find out so delta p that is equal to j1 into delta delta i have to get my equation in the form delta p is equal to j1 delta delta so what is j1 i am going to analyze j1 i am trying to or i am checking whether my j1 matrix can be simplified whether my j1 matrix equation can be simplified so j1 is do p by do delta you know it no do p by do delta that can be the change of the voltage angle within the same bus or in some other bus in the locality okay so first what i am going to find out that is do p i by do delta i what was do pi by do delta i hope you remember the equations very well do pi by do delta i was equal to do you remember it? So, uh, PI equation was equal to sigma n is equal to 1 to n vi y n v n. The equation was cos theta, isn't it? So, now it becomes sine. Differential, no? Sine theta i n plus delta i n minus delta i. One minus will be there. Differential of cos is minus n. So, one minus will be here. But the minus of this, it will cancel. So, this is our equation. And also, one more thing is that this delta i won't be there when delta n is equal to delta i. So, what should I write? I should write this is not equal to i. Hope you understood. So, I should write it as this is not equal to i. So, how can I simplify this equation? So, I am again checking. So, first we are in while doing our problem in our normal weather. First, we have to um, do our formulate our y bus. And we are converting it into the polar form in radian matrix. Then we are finding out delta p, delta q. And we are checking for q violation and all those things. And next we are going on to find find our uh, j matrix like that we are going now so uh, we are trying to ch check we are trying to reduce our calculation that is with already calculated parameters okay we want to change our this equation to a similar parameter which was already taken or already calculated so that we can reduce our computation time so what will i do is i'll check for the equation so this is vi y i n v n sin theta i n plus delta n minus delta i this equation is very similar to us because this equation is equal to q i isn't it do i have to write the equations for first case i'll write it okay q i is equal to sigma n is equal to 1 to n vi y i n v n sin this was our reactive power equation isn't it theta n plus so here what happens these two are very similar except for this not equal to i term so what i am going to write is i am modifying my dou pi by dou delta i term how can i i am including an i term also here so if i include an i term here or when n is equal to i what will happen so when n is equal to i i am writing the equation okay sigma n is equal to this equation sigma n is equal to 1 to n v i y i n v n sine theta i n plus delta n minus delta i okay so when n is equal to i I am changing this not equal to i. So, when is n is equal to i, what happened? It will be 
V I square and sin theta I I, isn't it? So if I am including this, so I can write it as uh, not equal to I. So I am including this, okay? Plus V I square Y I I sin theta i i this term i am including so that i can take take this my not equal to i outside okay or i can cancel this not equal to i so i have to add this term so in order to add this term i have to neglect it effect by minusing this term also isn't it that is these are simple mathematics we already know so then so sin theta i i so i can write like this no so how can i modify this that is equal to now i can modify my equation as sigma n is equal to 1 to n that is v i y i n v n um sin theta i n plus delta i n minus delta i minus v i square y i i sin theta i i okay so this is my present equation so this equation you already know this is same as the this equation isn't it so except one minus sign is there so what i will do it i will write a minus sign here so minus q y minus v i square what is y i i sin theta i i you already know it now or i will write once more it's okay for me y i i angle theta i i i'm writing it as y i i cos theta i i plus j sin theta i i and this is g i i term plus this is b i i term so y i i sin theta i i is b i i term so i can write it as b i i okay and already we know this v i you know v i value will be somewhat one or its square will be again v i itself isn't it so what i am going to write is that is equal to some value minus q i minus v i into b i i and already we know this b i i is a large value when compared to q i q i value will be very small so i what i can do this equation i can write it as this will be approximately equal to minus v i b i i hope you understand this so this equation v i is approximately equal to b i i because b i i is much larger than my q i value okay so what i am doing is now i have my equation that is i am rewriting my equation though b i by though delta i is equal to minus vi into bii but how should we need the equation what is my necessity i need my equation like delta p as a function of delta delta but this delta delta is down no so i am modifying my equation that is i want this delta pi that is equal to what minus bii is a constant i want this delta delta here no because it should be a function of delta delta so i am taking this delta i here so by this minus v i okay this minus v i this is the equation i have got when i have found out the p i by the delta i i hope it is clear for you and next i am going to find out what is my the p i by do delta n no before we have found out the change with reference to the change of the voltage angle with reference to the same bus but now i have to change, find out what is there any power change when the voltage angle of some other bus changes so i am writing that equation that is delta n no so it will happen only in once so v i y i n v n cos that was sin so minus i put it already here theta i n plus delta i n minus delta i of this equation is equal uh, correct i know this equation is correct and you people know it already by hearted it already okay i am considering this angle okay already we have assumed that our voltage angle is delta i n minus delta i will be approximately zero so can i write my theta i n plus delta i n minus delta i should be it should be equal to theta i n itself isn't it so what i am writing is so i am changing my equation into sin theta 
i i okay and also we are studying the voltage change with reference to delta n no and this reactive sorry this active power is insensitive to the voltage magnitude okay that we have found out in our decoupled load flow analysis the voltage magnitude changes are insensitive when uh, taken in the case of real power and is highly sensitive when taken in the power of reactive power so what i am doing is i can ignore this vn value because it has no effect no so what i am taking it as minus vi y i n so in textbook what we are it is given as v n we are assuming it as one per unit because it has no effect so y i n into sin theta i n what is y i n sin theta i n that you already know it is v i into b i n okay so this is the next equation i have got so again we have to change the equation as a function of delta delta n okay so what is this delta pi i have to take it as a function of delta delta n so what is it delta pi in the left hand side it is minus b i n okay so i am taking this vi in the right hand side so my equation goes like this so this is also one equation okay so what i am going to say is we have to consider these two equations these two equations form the same pattern isn't it these two equations form the same pattern so i can write or modify my equation as delta pi divided by vi delta no it is delta p sorry delta p divided by vi should be equal to minus of b matrix so that b dash i am taking it okay that b dash delta delta this is the first equation that is our first equation no as per decoupled load flow analysis delta p is equal to j1 delta delta is again reduced to delta p by vi that vi value will be one per unit most time minus b dash delta delta this b dash value you know what is this b dash value b dash value is the imaginary part of my uh, y bus matrix okay and one more thing is there we are finding out that oh, except for slack bus okay so i am writing out it very clearly where my b dash matrix is the susceptance or imaginary part imaginary part of y bus except slack bus so it is very easy for you to calculate this b dash matrix first we have to find out our y matrix then we have to take only the imaginary term except the first column and the first row that is slack bus no and we should take the uh, remaining matrices we will get our uh, b dash matrix okay except slack bus we have to find out the uh, susceptance matrix or we have to find out the imaginary part then we have to take the minus of it and next uh, from this this delta p we are calculating in the first portion that is in the uh, second step that is uh, delta p for all the buses then vi value we are assuming it then b dash value we have then we can find out our delta delta value similarly we have to do the same for our q matrix also so we have to study how can we reduce our second equation that is what is it delta q is equal to j4 delta v so i am writing out it as delta q is equal to j4 into delta v j4 into delta v so how can we reduce this equation okay so i am taking my j4 equation i am taking my j4 equation what was my j4 matrix j4 matrix was the change of reactive power with reference to the change of voltage angle so that can be of the change of reactive power with reference to the change of voltage magnitude of the same bus or the change in reactive power with reference to the uh, change in voltage of some other bus so what i am going to find out is first i am find trying to find out what is the 
uh, how can I reduce my dou qi by dou vi? What was the equation? Do you remember? That is minus of sigma n is equal to 1 to n um, vi, you know. So, dou vi term will be there y i n d n sin theta i n plus delta n minus delta i and not equal to i. This happens when n not equal to i and when n is equal to i it will be 2 into vi into y i i into sin theta i i. This is our equation. So next as we have done similar case what we have done for our j1 matrix here also we have to convert this into some other matrix that or some other parameter values which has which have we which we have already calculated so what is it y i n v n sin theta i n plus delta n minus delta i what is this this equation is very similar to our reactive power equation isn't it do i have to write the reactive power equation again check the reactive power equation q i is equal to minus of sigma n is equal to 1 to n v i y i n v n okay in that this v i term is absent v i term alone is absent here so what will i do is i am just multiplying my equation with a v i term so multiplying the entire equation with a v i term i can write v i into dou q i by dou v i is equal to minus sigma n is equal to 1 to n n not equal to i v i y i n v n sin theta i n plus delta i n minus delta i plus 2 into v i square y i i into sin theta i i okay so this is the equation i have modified next what i have to do is i have to change this not equal to term how can i change this not equal to term so how can i change my um, not equal to term in this equation that is if i am adding an equal not equal i am removing this not equal to i term means because i am adding a n is equal to i term here when n is equal to i it will be v i y i i v i so v i square y i i sin theta i i okay that is already here no so i am taking 1 v i square y i i sin theta i to this term so i can sorry here here I taken so this term I can write it very easily as minus so I am taking this minus outside no inside okay sigma n is equal to 1 to n sigma n is equal to 1 to n v i y i n v n sin theta i n plus delta i n minus delta i i have taken one term inside so remaining one v i square is there v i square y i i term is there sin theta i i so what is it i am taking the minus to inside okay for reason so check the equation now it is same as our reactive power equation so i am replacing it as that is q minus v i square into y i i sin theta i i you already know it is b i i okay and we know that this uh, q term q i q i term is much lesser than this b i term so i can replace it as my equation as that is equal to minus v i square b i i okay so this is a calculation again we have to reduce so that i am taking a paper wait a minute okay so how will i do it so i am rewriting my equation that is v i dou q i by dou v i is equal to minus v i square b i i so i am taking one v i from here to reduce our calculation now it is uh, dou q i by dou v i is equal to minus v i b i i and what is the equation format we need we need the equation in the form delta q is e as a function of delta v so i am modifying it so integrating that is delta q i and I want it as a function of delta v i. Okay. So this is 
the remaining term is minus b i i and this v i i am calculate i am bringing it to down so that is equal to delta q i by v i i is equal to minus b i i delta e i okay so this is one equation i have got when i have found out do q i by do v i similarly i have to find how sensitive is my reactive power change with reference to the voltage of some other bus so do q i by do v n we already know do q i by do v n one term will alone will be there that is minus v i y i n v n term will not be there no sin theta i n plus delta n minus delta i okay so this is our equation and how will we solve it that is equal to minus here we know the reactive power equation uh, here we know that this voltage angle delta n and delta i this voltage angles will be somewhat equal or as per the assumptions before i can write it as theta n plus delta n minus delta i is approximately equal to theta i n okay so how can i write it as my equation is that do q i by do e i as i am writing it as equal to minus v i y i n sin theta i n is b i n okay so i can write my equation in this form now we need it in this form so i can write it as delta q i is equal to delta v n delta q i is equal to delta v n the remaining term here it is minus b i n and this voltage i am taking it down v i okay so this is the two equation so i am considering this equation and this a equation and this b equation and i am modifying it to a regular uh, or general equation that is delta q that delta q matrix will be equal to q delta q and delta q q2 q3 like that no if there are 1 2 3 or if 1 2 3 are load buses only we have to remember we have to calculate delta q only when the bus is a pq bus okay only for pq buses we have to calculate delta p and delta q for pv buses we have to calculate delta p okay <laughs> so delta q is equal to okay delta q by vi is equal to minus b dash i have already used so i am using a b double dash matrix into delta vn okay where this b double dash matrix is what is it is the imaginary part or susceptance matrix for all load bus only for all load bus only so what we have to do first we have to eliminate first row first column then we have to eliminate all the pv buses and finally we have to take the susceptance matrix for all the load bus so p dash is for all the matrix we are finding out y bus and we are finding out uh, except for slack bus that is b dash matrix whereas b double dash is a susceptance matrix for all the load buses or 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 the load buses only so now i can find out from this i can find out my delta delta okay here also this delta q value we are calculating first we are assuming this value we are calculating this from y bus next in remaining is we have to find out this delta e so what are the parameters we are going to find out here is same delta delta that delta delta is equal to minus and what is it minus b inverse isn't it b dash inverse of what is the delta p by v i this is our fourth step calculation other than the j matrix we have to calculate this in our fast decoupled load flow similarly if i am finding out my 
delta v delta v is equal to minus i have to take the inverse of b double dash what is b double dash acceptance matrix for load bus only delta q by vi okay so this is the equation we are going to substitute this is the equation here i haven't used any term no so this v term alone is sufficient okay so this is the equation we are going to find out for resolving this our fast decoupled load flow analysis so i am summarizing the steps once more that is in order to find out algorithm in order to solve for fast decoupled uh, in order to solve for fast decoupled load flow analysis first step i have to find out my y bus and it uh, first step we have to find the y bus in rectangular coordinate next we have to convert it into the polar form and the calculator should be in the radian mode okay and in the second step we have to find out uh, we have to calculate delta p and delta q delta p for all the buses except the slack bus delta q for uh, load bus only in other words we have to find out delta p and delta q for p pq bus and delta p only for pv buses okay so in a second step we are calculating this value and next what we have to do we have to set the iteration and we have to check whether um, q limits are given all those things we have to check in our um, second step okay and in uh, sorry in the third step okay and we have to finalize about the pv bus status and in the third step we have to also find out b matrix b dash that is except all the pv buses and pq buses we have to consider and we also should consider b double dash matrix that is the susceptance matrix for pq buses alone that is our third step okay and in the next step in the fourth step what will i do we have to calculate the value of delta delta and delta e and the remaining Value, uh, the remaining calculations will go on like uh, this delta initial value plus delta delta value we will take it out for our next iteration and like that it will continue okay thank you this is the theory part of our fast decoupled load flow analysis next we will do the mathematical problems regarding the same thank you